Right now with Rachel Kim, a family is devastated after they lost three loved ones in that house fire. Mm -hmm. It happened last night in the 8700 block of Compton Avenue in South Los Angeles. Here now is Rachel Kim, where she spoke with family members. Rachel. Yeah, Juan and Serene, despite the efforts of a neighbor who tried to put out the flames in this house with a garden hose and the efforts of the fire department who was later able to do so. This hurts. This hurts really bad. Many are hurt and heartbroken after three family members were killed in a late night fire at their South L.A. home. Originated in the living room and pretty much the smoke inhalation uh, went throughout the house. Kenneth Slack tells us his 87 year old bedridden mother, Walterine Slack, and his two brothers, Larry and Timothy Slack, did not survive the fire. He says his sister and niece were also inside and are now at the hospital in critical condition. It's kind of hard to describe how, how you know, I'm feeling and what I'm going through is tragedy. The fire broke out just before midnight on the 8700 block of Compton Avenue. When firefighters arrived, they saw smoke coming out the front windows. They were able to extinguish the flames in about a minute, but they soon found the family members and began rescue efforts. Sadly, one of Slack's brothers passed away inside. His mother and other brother were taken to the hospital where they later died. She meant the world to me. She's my mother. Slack is still trying to understand the magnitude of his loss, but he doesn't have to look far for strength. He says his father was a pastor who built this church next to his family's home of over 30 years. A constant reminder that his faith will bring him comfort. You guys could. Just pray for the family, and that's all I ask right now. Just strength and, and prayer. That's the only way you can get through such a loss. And that was Rachel Kim reporting there. Well, the small plane that crashed into a San Diego County suburb nosedived into the ground after repeated warnings it was flying too low. Yesterday's crash killed a 30-year-old UPS driver named Steve Kruger and the plane's owner, Dr. Sugata Das, who's believed to have been the pilot. The plane went down yesterday afternoon in a Santine neighborhood, destroying two homes and damaging 10 others. Neighbors rescued an elderly couple from their burning home. Recordings from air traffic control showed concern that the plane was flying too low. Low altitude alert. Climb immediately. Climb the airplane. Maintain 5,000. Expedite climb. Climb the airplane, please. Family of that couple that were rescued from their home say that they both suffered burns. They are expected to survive, but it will take some time for them to recuperate. More news now. We know how Gabby Petito died. Coming up, the autopsy.